Hey everyone, this is Beth from Art by Bedell, and I'm here with Junk Journal January Prompt 19 Hand Lettered. I don't like my handwriting. <laughs> I have this page and this page to work on today. And this page is some fine art paper, and this is coffee stained copy paper. I have a piece of paper that I want to add down here that it is out of Cherry Blossom book by... Uh, Prima Marketing. So, and I've inked up all around my edges, and let's glue this down. Yeah, I have stitching around the outside of this page, so I'm not going to add it to this part. I'll add it to my pockets on the next side, though. So, how are you today? I hope everything's going well. Uh, we have some dark, dark clouds rolling in. I think we're going to get some rain. I hope it's not going to be snow. It is January still, so we don't know for sure that it's not going to snow. So I'll put this right down. Let's see. I have my bird on the other side. I'm going to set this one aside for a moment so I can open this one all the way up. And then down along the edge of this, I want to add a piece of lace. I really like this um, paper pack, that Prima Marketing one. I think the pinks and the browns and it's just so 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 pretty and then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to throw on a sticker so let's see if we can get the back of it off I don't use stickers a lot I don't know why but there's some pretty nice stickers out there part of it is because you can't get them off the plastic okay so well, let's apply our sticker right down here in this corner then I have some mommy gummy paper that I will put a little bit of ink around the edge and glue that down. And on this is going to go our number 19. Now up here in this corner, I have taken a piece of coffee stain copy paper and I have used my own handwriting and I have put, we can lose sight of what matters most. And I wanna put that up there and that's gonna satisfy my prompt for hand lettering. I don't do calligraphy. I don't do any of the really fancy handwriting. I wished I did. I have tried a couple of them. It's, I, I have a feeling it takes a lot of practice. And for me, I would rather be um, sketching uh, a flower or something than I would be practicing handwriting. So we get my handwriting on here. Now, a lot of times so far in these 19 days of January, when I'm doing my journaling on these pages, I might add a little more, like I might add some color around this or some doodling. But there we have what is going to be done on that for today. Then we have this side over here, and I really just love these papers together. These papers are so nice anyhow. I want to add some pockets. So I had some of this paper and I want to go over it a little bit with my applicator and see if I can highlight because it's an embossed piece of paper. I want to, there we go. Highlight where it's embossed so we can see it better. There, I'm liking that. And then for the top one, we'll do that too. You just use a really light, gentle touch. There. Very, very nice. And then I have some of the pieces of this Prima paper that I want to glue down on each of my pockets. And I also want to put a piece of lace across the top of both of them. There we go. And then we have our words, thought for the day. Now, I could have satisfied my prompt by writing these out, but in order to keep my journal like flowing cohesively, I like to just use what I started with in the beginning. And it would have been, to me, disruptive at this point to hand write out thought for the day or to hand write out my number. So I chose not to go that route. Now I'm gonna go take these little cards and, or envelopes and I'm gonna stitch around them. So I can glue these in place around the left and the right hand side and across the bottom. And I've cut a, cut a couple of cards to go in my journaling spots. 
So we'll put that there. And then I think if I put that there, yes, put it down just slightly. So for my cards, let's set this aside for a moment. I have these two pieces of cardstock and I have a couple pieces of paper that was left over from another project and I'm just gonna glue that down on top. Now these are going to be my journaling cards. So I do not want to um, take away any journaling space because I really am limited on journaling space this time with just these two little cards. I can, although if I need to, I can um, cut some pieces of paper and add to this if I need to. There would be room in the pockets to slip a piece of paper down in. So our paper is just for a little decoration. And then we can journal on, journal on both sides of this tag, front and back. And for my little journal cards here, I want some tabs, some page tabs, tag tabs on top of them so I can pull them in and out of my pocket really easy. So I've taken a piece of the paper that I use on the main part of my layout and a piece of lace. And I'm going to staple that right on the top. Making sure that I keep in, that I catch in the lace on both the front and the back. Yes, on that one. And one more here. Yes, on this one. Okay, let's bring our page back and then our tags will fit down inside here like this. And I don't feel that they need anything more on them. Like I say, I don't wanna take up that space. I need that amount of room, at least that amount of room for journaling my thought for the day and my gratitude. But when I do add writing to it, it will dress them up a little bit. Even though my handwriting is not beautiful, still that, that texture, whatever you wanna call it, will add to it. That's my page for the day. We have our number, we have thought for the day, gratitude, we have our prompt fulfilled, and we shall see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye now.